Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So if you're here for the first time, then do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And if you like this video, do give this video a thumbs up. So this is what I have come up with for this Raksha Bandhan and all the product details, whatever I have used are also in the description box. So go ahead and check that out if you want detail of any of the products that I have used. And uh, this is going to be a chit chat one. So haven't done a one in a really 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 long time so this is the one i know how much chit chat i have done but whatever i have done is in front of you guys so just go ahead and watch it and if you like it then subscribe okay so um let's get let's get started um okay so i will use this avon solution complete balance oil free what is this gel cream and this is how it looks like it's very good for oily skin um i have really sweaty teeth only you guys know it by now so i'm just applying that specifically to this area and this will help in mattifying the face so probably i am hoping that i won't sweat that much because if you have sweat on your face so while that seeps in um i will use my primer so for a primer i'm using nivea men after shave balm and sensitive like um i know this is not a primer but after nikki tutorials blue dip it it just became so 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 popular and it's really good if you have sensitive skin because it will not break you out so yeah i'm just taking that much on my fingers and then just warming it up and applying it all over my face actually in fact you can use anything that has glycerin in it as a primer uh, like for example i use eva halal aloe vera combo uh, a face spray as a primer all the time the gel is also good as a primer so yeah you can pretty much use anything which has glycerin or aloe vera or both of them in it as a primer so and also please excuse my background i did not had like it's raining it's pouring outside and I have no place to shoot so it, the rain stopped for some time and i thought yeah it's really <laughs> nice time for me to just quickly sit down and shoot so okay so once that is done let uh, we'll just let it seep into the skin and then we'll move on to the foundation then i am going to do a different thing for my foundation i'll just powder my face first and then a foundation use the foundation that way my face will secrete less oil and it will <laughs> my makeup will actually last a bit longer so i'm just taking this just taking this lacme perfect radiance uh, compact and with a uh, real techniques what is this is a uh, face brush i'll just powder my face so that is done mm -hmm. for the foundation i am using the makeup revolution matte effect foundation in golden and this is pretty much it i am using all the time i bought two foundations yesterday and i misplaced it and i don't know where they are i have been searching for them so much but don't know i think i forgot them at the shop itself probably This is a medium coverage foundation but you can obviously go and go ahead and build it. Yeah. I will powder my face once again. I don't know how this chit chat kind of a makeup tutorial is going to turn out but hoping for the best. I hope you guys like it because I don't often get time to shoot it this way but done. <laughs> next we will move on to the eyes it's complete it's time for a bit of color correction under my eyes so i'm taking an orange lipstick and i'll just dab it really in small amount oh i'm not taking it i've i've not taken it too much and then with my beauty blender i'm just going to press that in oh now i am taking my nua makeup academy concealer stick in medium and i'll just 
feels that all over my hands. And with a fluffy blush, I just buff that all. This uh, palette, the 12th night, and I'm taking this top cream shade. No, the bottom one. Take the bottom one and just set it. It has a bit of sheen to it, like the color. I just really wanted to work out on my eyes because I have really bad dark circles right now. <laughs> I actually can't see what's going on in my business in this eye oh. I don't know why my back is baking it's baking really bad it's contour shade and you no I'll take <laughs> I'll take this bronzing shade and just use it in my crease a little bit so this is real techniques crease brush and I'm just applying it to my crease. Both things turn out to be really good. Yeah. Oh, so once uh, that is done, I take another blending brush and I use this green shade now. All like in I'll use that green shade probably in the inner corners and the outer corners I want a bit of halo eyes effect mm -hmm. that's really nicely pigmented like look Then I'm taking this um, goldenish kind of a shade and I use that in the center. So I'll probably take a flat shader brush. These eyeshadows are amazingly pigmented. Like, look at that. I really like that. What do you think? I'm taking that green color again by the way and just blending everything. Taking that bronzer once again, I'll just blend out everything right there. I think we're good to go. That looks cool, right? <laughs> just highlight the shade. And I will use it on my brow bone with the help of a pencil brush. Yes. So I'm just taking that and carefully placing it. Oh, it has a golden sheet to it. And look at that. I don't know if the camera is picking it up or not. It does. I'm taking that bronzing brush again and then just blending out the um, highlight, bronzer and the shadow all together so that it all looks one. So just doing that and yeah, I'm happy with it right now. I think I am happy with it. I'm happy now. I'll take another shade of brush. I think it is easier to smoke out your lower lash line with a shade of brush. I'm just gonna dip it into the green shadow and just smoke out my lower lash line. And I'll do it only to one third of it, not the complete one, because I want golden color in 
the front section. Like taking that golden color, I'm just gonna place it on the front part. Shade again from the same palette. I'm gonna use it as an inner corner highlight. Yeah. I think it's looking good right now, so I'll just move on to the other eye and then I'll come back. Okay, so I think I'm done with both my eyes. Let's move on to the face now. Let's we'll just powder a bit of my face because I mean clear out everything under the eye just bake under my eye a bit so I'm using this tacking powder and I'll just pour some on my hand and with the help of the beauty blender itself I'll just apply it all under my eyes because it gives a really bright under eye and also a uh, really edgy catty eyes so I just dust off the excess of powder now okay after that contouring okay so I'll take an angled face brush like look at that and with that I'll just contour a little bit like a little bit I'm taking the city color contour effect to palette by the way you can take any brown shadow or whatever you have at hand so I'm just basically making my contour line first and then I'll blend it afterwards and my jawline this And I am going to take this brown, brown, brown. <laughs> I'm going to take this bronzer really lightly and just over the top of my contour. I'll just blend that. Whatever is left on my brush, there is nothing else here. So. Once that is done, I'll take my concealer again and just highlight on the usual areas, which is the center of my forehead, my nose, here, some bit here, under the contour, right here. And then in the beauty blender, I'm just gonna blend that out. And then I'll just powder everything. palette I will use my favorite brush for highlighting so I'll use this same highlight shade on top here and lightly just take it on my brush and then blush time so <laughs> I'm using this MUA blush in shade 5 and it's a new news it's a really nice peach shade so on that shame that shame the same brush which I used for highlighting I will use that it's a matte blush by the way I use that to apply my blush Ooh, look at that
I think uh, peach color really goes well with my skin. What do you think? I think pink looks black on me. Peach looks really me. <laughs> Just let me know. Comment down below which color looks better. And the last but not the least. I really want to go bold on my lips. Let's see. I'm taking a sugar lip crayon um, in poison ivy. Take this golden eyeshadow right here and just dust to the center of my lips. gonna give a beautiful metallic effect to the lips and yeah I think that's the finished look so yeah that's the finished look um, and bold lips and yeah oh I forgot the mascara I forgot the mascara so I just quickly Shadow to fill in my eyebrows. I forgot that totally, totally, like totally. Uh, so that's the finished look. I forgot the mascara and the eyebrows completely. So I've just done them, and I'm also going to pop a little red bindi, which will match my lips right there. And yeah, that's the complete look now. Um, you can totally skip the bindi if you feel like, if you feel like adding it, just add it. If you feel like adding a different color, just go ahead and do that. I feel this looks so more Indian with this bindi and everything. Uh, so that's the finished look. That's the complete look and I hope you guys really like it. And if you do, then if you really like this look, then do not forget to hit the like button and also subscribe if you haven't already. If you're here for the first time, then do subscribe that red button down below. That would really, 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 really make me happy. So if you recreate it, do not forget to share it on Twitter, Instagram or Facebook with me. Just tag me and I just want to see how it looked on other people. And if you guys recreate it, I, that would really, really, really make me happy. Yeah, that was it for today. Uh, I shall see you next time then. Take care. Bye.